friends, my name is Holly and welcome back to my channel. And today you're actually going to be out and about shopping with Drew and I. We are going to a lot of antique stores. Now I'm only going to really be showing you what's at Prattville Pickers because there's a lot of beautiful booths here. But we are going all over like from like an hour to two hours away from our house today because we are looking for some antique doors for our house. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you what we found and where I'm planning on putting it and how I'm planning on redoing it in our new house and like going into the house and showing y'all where it's going to be located. But then also sharing with y'all some furniture pieces that we have found and kind of helping y'all visualize what I'm picturing for the foyer to look like and places like that. But then also showing y'all the cottage garden. We are actually working on a goal this week to finish building the fire pit area and to be able to put my farmer's dream roses back on. So I'm going to be sharing with y'all how I'm building that and what that's going to look like. And this is just going to be a hodgepodge of a video. Just Drew and I doing things to get ready to be moving into our dream home. So I'll start with Prattville Pickers and just show y'all some of the really cool things that I found that I would want for our house. I love these little blue willow dishes and I love these little green dishes that I have found too. I would love to incorporate those into our house. And so I've been on the lookout for a really good deal for those. And really Prattville Pickers just keep on and keep on adding in the most cutest vendors that have the cutest stuff and it's all placed so nicely. I loved these little milk glass glasses i would have got those but there was only four and i would have wanted six but i loved those and these they were only ten dollars a piece and they were so heavy they were gorgeous so i love brass pieces and they're really catching my eye this right here, I thought I was about to snag, but I didn't realize it was priced individually. So I just waited because I knew that we needed to spend money on antique doors today. But I loved that little letter holder and opener. And like I told y'all, anything brass is catching my eye and I'm wanting to buy it all. But I think in my old house, I already had a lot of brass pieces. So I'm not really buying a lot right now, like little knickknacks. I'm trying to wait and see what I have from the old house when I start pulling that stuff out. And then we'll really start shopping for the smaller um, decorations and things. But if I see anything that I like have to have, then I'll grab it. I did find this little picture but it was November and I want one so bad that is August because that's Drew and I's anniversary month and it is all the flowers that are blooming in the month of August. So I've been on the lookout for that for years and I would like it to be a little bit bigger than that one. This is one of everybody's favorite vendors. This is Chase Morgan, but she also has one right across from it called Taylor Morgan where you see Drew is measuring some doors and I love her booth and they're just so pretty filled with beautiful things and she displays them so nicely. There were all kinds of little knickknacks that I would have loved to purchase but again I'm just holding off like these candlesticks that you're seeing right here. They caught my eye. I thought they were $25 for the set and I told Drew I want these but then I realized they were priced separately so I was like oh I'll just wait. I'm trying to find things on a bargain if I'm going to be purchasing it for the new house just for right now with the little knickknacks. So Drew thinks that he has found a door. He's been over there measuring it and we thought it would work, but then he realized there was something wrong with it where it wouldn't fit our space. So we didn't end up getting that one. I'll show y'all the one that we get later, but this is her other side of the booth. So they both have two different kind of vibes to them. This one has a little bit more like cottagey and the one over on the other side, I feel like is a little bit more masculine. And so just really cute little knickknacks, really cute like kitchen gadgets and things like that in this booth.
So, Drew and I were just talking that we needed a front porch swing, and we saw this one, but it was a little bit too big, so we had to pass on that, but we were kind of keeping our eye out for those today. And then here is the door that we found. It's not technically antique, and it's actually an exterior door, but we're going to make it work, and I have a picture of it on how I'm going to redo it, how I'm going to make it look, and I'll show you that later. This is a piece that we found in another antique store that we loved. I thought I wanted a black hutch, um, but I loved this color green that it was. I loved the brass handles, and I love how they painted this. But we decided just to wait, and hopefully we'll find one that's black, or I'll redo it that's black. But I loved that piece. Now we are in Hobby Lobby picking up something, and I was going to share with y'all some pieces that I'm on the lookout for so whenever these go on sale i'm gonna grab these i love these canisters so much and then i've been eyeballing these pictures i'm not gonna buy them yet i'm gonna wait until really the walls start coming up in the house so i can see if i actually have a place to put these but i would love to have two of these because they're so pretty i bought this clock and i'm gonna put it in the foyer on top of a piece so stay tuned and remember this clock towards the end of this video and then Drew, I caught him wandering over this way. So we're going to look at some of the decorations that Drew would like to put in the house. <laughs> no, he said that he really didn't want the house in the bonus room or anything decorated with this kind of stuff. But it was just funny to catch him looking at it. I found this picture that I loved. It's got the gold trim mirror. And then I loved just how it looks like a little sketch of flowers in a vase. thought that was really pretty. And here's the piece that we picked up. So we're hoping to put this in our bathroom. Already have one and it's been so hard finding another one. So Hobby Lobby put this one on hold for me whenever it came in. So now we have two. If we decide to use both of these, there's an idea that I'm working on for our bathroom. You're in Opelika, Alabama, which is right next door to Auburn. And if you follow Carly Gail Bowman on Instagram, I went to her booth this weekend to look for some stuff and y'all, it was not fully stocked, but it was even better because I actually got to meet her and her husband, Aaron, and their little boy, Remington. They were in the booth. I told her whenever we walked in, um, I said, if they're in here, I'm going to die. Whenever I went up to say hey to her, my heart was pounding out of my chest and I was shaking. I barely even remember our conversation. I did not know I would be that excited, but I just feel like whenever you watch somebody every day, like on YouTube or Instagram, you just feel like you know them and they feel like a celebrity to you. And so you can even tell with this video, I'm all over the place. I'm making y'all dizzy. I know I'm sorry, but I was still in shock that I got to meet her. And so that made my day. And Drew thought I was crazy from all the friends that I called and was like, guess who I got to meet today? So again, her booth wasn't fully stocked. She did have lots of crystal chandeliers, but none of them were for sale. And I would have loved been able to purchase one and put it in my home because she's somebody that I watch every day over on Instagram stories. I get a lot of inspiration from her garden that she does and then her home decor. Hey, this is another day and I ran into my local rustic relics to get something for my mom. Talk about that in a minute. I found these dishes that I love. They're going to be our everyday dishes. So they look like the ironstone, but they are in black trim. So perfect. So I have been eyeballing this chandelier for myself for over a year and I just didn't think that I wanted to use it, but I wanted someone to have it. So I thought I had talked my mom into it. Daddy was not sold on it, but they were tired of looking. So mom was like, just go by and get it for me and we'll see if we can make it work. Well, whenever I pulled it down and started to buy it, I called her. I said, you're not getting this. I'm keeping it. I love this. I didn't realize the detail on it. I said, I'm going to have to find you another one. So now it's going to my house and I have to find my mom another one, but I am in love with this chandelier. I had to listen to that bird for a second. So I can't remember what I last showed y'all, but I was going to show y'all a few things I've been put up in here and then show y'all where some things are going that Drew and I bought whenever we went shopping and then some of the things um, that I've had with me for a while. Just kind of help y'all envision what I'm looking at. So if you can imagine that big rug that I just shared with y'all in the last haul with my mom, that is going to go right here is the plans. And then at my sister's, the piece that I shared with y'all that is in their basement that my mom and dad got me for Christmas. I'm planning on it to go right here. It's like a big black piece. 
and I'm planning on putting it here with like a clock on top of it and maybe some candlesticks or something some a plant with like greenery trailing down and then on this side I want to find like a bench to go right here and then I have this antique mirror that I'll put right here so you can envision it and I thought I was gonna have it sitting on the floor, but it's really not that tall. So I think I'm gonna have Drew mount it to the wall so it makes it taller and then the bench up under it. And that way, maybe it'll complement this piece. Now, I first was originally planning on my piece to be tall and long, but like a big, massive, long piece. But whenever my mom found that one for me and asked if I loved it, and my nails are so dirty, I've been in the garden, but she asked if I loved it. I really did. And so we're going to try to make that thing work. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to sell it and try to get something else. But mom knew that whenever she got it for me for Christmas, that that was a possibility. So we had talked about that. It wasn't like it was a big surprise or anything. So we're going to hope that that piece fits right here because I think it's going to be perfect for guests to put like purses and things like that in to kind of tuck it away whenever we have events over here. And then in here, it's going to be 10 foot ceilings. And I'm thinking of one or two places to put that chandelier that I got at Rustic Relics today. So I will tell y'all about that. So one of them is in here because I feel like it just is like a simply lake and lace chandelier. Like it's the lake because it has like the branched looking legs that holds the light, but then also the lace part because it has the crystals. And I feel like that just sets the tone for walking into our home. But I just don't know for sure if I want a crystal chandelier right whenever you walk into the foyer. So we'll see. The other place that I'm thinking about putting it is in this guest bedroom because this is gonna have 10 foot ceilings and I would love for hopefully one day that's to be a little girl's nursery. And so honestly, if you want me to be honest with you, I really don't like talking about this stuff because I feel like we're not even there yet, but my vision is this to be Lace's room. So if you don't know, my channel is called Simply Lake and Lace and we would love to have twins one day, a boy and a girl. They, they run in our family and to name one Lace and one Lake. So picture perfect world this would be the little girl's room and have that beautiful chandelier but we shall see and then we have the jack and jill bathroom which i'm not going to go through all this again i've showed y'all this in many other videos with house updates so if you want to see like how the house is laid out you can go back and watch those videos and i'll link those down below and then this i would love to be a lake's room like a little boy's room one day and then have a chandelier in here too but just not have crystals on it so I've got to try to find something. Maybe I'll find something and as I'm talking right now, I can put some little pictures down in below so you can kind of envision what I'm thinking. So where do y'all think it should go? In the foyer or do y'all like the idea of having it first guest bedroom to kind of complement this one? So let me know, we'll see. Okay, then up here, you can see they have, I wish we could go up there. There's not a ladder. So, up here is the bonus room, and they've about got it all. So this will all be attic space, storage space. This will be stairs right here going up to the bonus room. There'll be a landing, and then another area going up into the bonus room, and maybe we can go up there another day because I don't see a ladder. I know there's one out here, but I don't really feel like dragging it out here either. I'm also looking for some doors that I can Either they're gonna be antique or I'm gonna make them look antique. So the door that you saw Drew and I purchase, I'm planning on putting it right here, going into the laundry room. And I'll share with y'all a door that I found on Pinterest that I wanna kinda of make it look like. So that door is planning on going there. And then I'm still on the lookout for two other doors. I would really love to have like a wooden set of doors that are skinny because this is just like a regular doorway entry so they have to be skinny doors i'll share y'all what i'm talking about with some glass and they would open into the bathroom so i'm looking for those i told y'all this or not but this is drew and bedroom and so i'm looking for those double doors to go into our master bathroom area and then the next place that i'm looking for a set of doors that are antique I really, well, not a set of doors. I just need one door and I want it to have glass and have a lot of character. And that is the one that is in our kitchen that goes into our pantry. So right here, I'm looking for one. So we have got one of the three down. So hopefully I'll find those soon. I've been searching Facebook Marketplace like every day and hoping that I run across something. So this is the back of the house. 
and if you hear a bunch of noise, it's Drew. I'll show y'all what we're doing in a second. So this was the original plan to have the door that comes off of our mud room and bedroom to come out here and then this part just be covered over concrete. But we added on and our plan is to have, this is like coming from the living room outside. So all this part that's covered was in the original plans and it's really nice and big out here already. Like we were so excited. I didn't realize it was gonna be that big. But then we added on this too. This in the bonus room is what Drew and I are most excited about. So this will be like an A-frame and we'll have a chandelier in the middle and at the very end will be a brick fireplace that goes all the way up and then there'll be an outdoor patio furniture out here which I'll share with y'all what that looks like. So it's like a sectional and a chair. So it'll be like the living area out here. Drew's hoping to build like an outdoor kitchen here. And then right here is gonna be like a big dining room table that hopefully holds six to eight people. So it'll be like the dining room and kitchen behind me and then the living area for outside because we love it outside so much. And our view is beautiful. Hopefully one day we'll put an in-ground pool right here. And so, the outdoor living is what we are so excited about. And then right here, if you can envision this, I've talked to y'all about this before, but it gets a little confusing. So the A-frame will kind of have like an overhang and this was not supposed to be concrete. It was supposed to be just grass, but we really thought that would really not ever dry up and just be a muddy mess. So we went ahead and extended the concrete. So now we're gonna connect string lights from the end of the house to the A-frame. So it'll be string light zigzagged like this. And this would be like a little courtyard area. And I'm hoping to put a bistro set, which I'll show you that in a minute, right here. I don't know if this is gonna look good. I'll have to see how it all ties together. But I'm thinking like my little bistro set right here with like some potted plants and letting this just be like, just a little courtyard area, like little sitting area, the bistro set with the plants. And I think that's gonna be really pretty. So here is the little bistro set that I was talking about. I got this at Lowe's last year and I love it. I love the black and white. And that's what we're doing in our house a lot. And then this is metal, but it looks like wood. And then this looks like concrete. So I'm thinking about putting this in that little space with like some plants around it. And then this will be under the string lights. And then um, again, that whole space will be open. Like you'll see blue sky. There won't be anything covering just that little area. So I'm pretty excited. Drew came up with that whole idea by himself. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. So I've shared with you all this little space before. We worked on this whenever we had the double wide. This is how far it is from the house. So this is the guest bathroom right here. And so it'll overlook this. And this will all have landscaping all around it, but then the rest will just be grass coming out here to our raised beds. I'll show y'all what we're working on right there in a minute. But this little table right here, I think I'm gonna get it moved over here because we were able to save our crepe myrtle, thankfully, and it's a white one. So we'll kind of cut it back and let it grow up big. And then I'm thinking about putting that little concrete patio set right here. So it'll be like a little shaded area and I can mix it in with like the garden area around our house, like the landscape area. Because we really don't need this in here in this area because of what we're doing back here. So I just kind of want this to be just all open. And you can see we have this little wall right here that's gonna be full of greenery and it's um, Confederate Jasmine and it blooms a white bloom and it smells so good. So that'll be like a wall of greenery and then all this will be grass eventually. And then you'll walk into here and I have a rose right here that's gonna trail this. And then we have our raised beds. This will be gone. So we'll put our vegetables, stuff out here. On the outside of the fence line, you can see we just put down cardboard and we're about to get a whole lot of dirt to put on here. Um, so we probably won't do much of this until all this um, dissolves and mixes in well so we can actually do some planting. This is just supposed to help kill off some of the weeds. So we're gonna put some black cow and some dirt on top of these cardboard boxes. And then my plan is to put all of my herbs lined up here. So I have, I do have a rose there and then I have a butterfly bush down there and it's supposed to get really big <clears throat> and it's white blooms and it attracts all the butterflies and bees. And then this is, I believe a rose, an antique rose called Prosperity. So I want it to be, um, I want to tie it off to the fence line. So it'll be like a pretty backdrop of roses. And then I'll have all my herbs just kind of planted on this side and the other side and on the outside of the fence line we're planning on planting corn we're planning on planting the corn so it'll be tall and then we'll harvest harvest the corn and whenever the corn is done we'll pull it all up and i'll use that for decorations for our front porch and back porch for the fall 
And once we pull those up, then I'm going to plant sunflowers on the back side of it. So, and then after the sunflowers are off, it'll just be bare until the next spring and summer. Um, and then this will just stay with all my herbs and the rose. This is looking into this way, into this little garden. I want this to be like a little cottage garden area. And so, again, the corn will be on the outside of this. And then once that's done, we'll do the sunflowers. And then on the inside, we have all these pots just sitting here for now holding this cardboard down. Um, but then on this inside, I want to do like herbs and different flowers, like cut flowers and stuff between this side and that side of the inside of all this. And then Drew is working on, sorry, I'm, I know it's very windy out here. If you remember on the back of our double wide, we had this little fire pit area and we're working on putting that here now and so we'll be able to put like a picnic table here and then the back part will be the fire pit area and it has a wall and then we'll put flowers around it and then it also has the big pergola i'll put a picture right here so you can remember what it looks like or if you've never seen it before and it will have my two farmer's dream roses that'll crawl up it and then they make big beautiful blooms they're right here right now so i'm ready to replant these so the beds look awful right now because i have just stuck all kinds of things that were around this little area into these beds to just have them planted in while we were waiting for this to be built back so hopefully before too long you'll see all this area cleaned up and i'm really excited about all of this and then over here like here's some of my herbs right now but i want to replant all this and put it over there and then again this won't be here it'll be over there i think it's the plans and then this will be all greenery like a greenery wall cannot wait i think it's going to do really good this year i just planted them last year and usually they take off within the second year and then i'll put this fountain back up right here and the reason we have it tubbed over right now is because it's been freezing here below freezing and i didn't want it to bust any of this fountain so we just leaned it over but i'm really ready to have this all set up so I can start working on getting in the garden. I've already been pulling weeds as you can see up under my nails. So I'm really excited to get this going. I feel like spring is here whenever we're out in the garden. Okay y'all, we're calling it quits for the night. We're tired. We are going to put more gravel right here and come one more layer this way. And we'll have this whole thing down. You would think we would finish it but we are done. And it's getting cold out here. So, and we have to find more of these bricks. We used all these bricks to cover up our wood that we bought ahead of time and covered with tarps. So we've been having to dig for all of these. They weren't all in one spot. And then we'll do probably one more row here and then it'll be time to do the fire pit area. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully whenever we come back next week, We'll have this part finished and we can start doing some gardening. So if y'all want to start seeing what the little cottage garden is going to look like, y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with the cottage garden and the house. And we'll be going back to my mom's house soon and hopefully it'll be done and we can start moving her in. Look at how beautiful the sky is. See you guys on the next one. Bye y'all.